Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today I have a really special Disneyland recipe for you. It's actually a treat that you can only get this time of year, which is fall, in Disneyland in New Orleans Square. It's actually a recipe that comes straight out of the Club 33 kitchen, and it is pumpkin beignets. They are so delicious. New Orleans Square is known for their beignets throughout the year. They usually just have the plain beignets with some powdered sugar on them, and those are so delicious. But they also, during the holidays, have different flavors. Right when September started, they had a delicious apple flavor, and right now, they have out a pumpkin flavor. So I'm gonna teach you how to make it at home. Let's get started. In order to make these pumpkin beignets, you're going to need a half a teaspoon of dry yeast, a quarter cup warm water at 105 degrees approximately, four cups all-purpose flour, one cup canned pumpkin puree, a quarter cup sugar, a quarter cup heavy cream, a quarter cup hot water, one egg, two tablespoons vegetable shortening, a half teaspoon salt, and vegetable oil for frying. In order to make the maple glaze that'll go on top, you're going to need three tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of maple syrup, one cup of powdered sugar. I have my quarter cup of water and I have warmed it up in the microwave and I have a temperature gauge to make sure that it's hot enough because you have to make sure that your water is between 100 and 110 degrees in order to properly activate the yeast. Now I'm going to add my quarter or sorry half teaspoon of yeast and I'm just going to slowly add it and stir to dissolve Once it's completely dissolved, you need to let it sit for five minutes. I'm gonna set my timer. Now that I've let my yeast sit for five minutes, I'm going to mix together the following ingredients. I'm going to mix together my flour, my pumpkin puree, My sugar, my heavy cream, my hot water, my egg which I went ahead and cracked ahead of time and separate or mixed the yolk and the white area together. My shortening and my salt. And I'm going to mix these together. Now that I have the mixture mixed together well, I'm going to stir in my yeast. I will tell you, you can do this by hand, but you can also do it with a mixer. That might be a little bit easier for some people, um, but either one, it's up to you.
Make sure you get the yeast completely mixed in to your dough mixture. Once you have a nice smooth mixture, you're gonna set it to the side and let it sit for 30 minutes with a clean dish towel covering it. My dough has been sitting for 30 minutes, so now I'm going to transfer the dough to a well-floured surface, and I'm going to pat it down so that it's fairly even and approximately a quarter inch thick. I'm actually then gonna use a pizza cutter. You can use anything you'd like, but this is pretty easy for me, and I'm just going to cut them into two inch squares. Make sure to use plenty of flour so that it doesn't stick to your surface. Once you get your dough cut into approximately two inch squares, you wanna let your dough sit for an hour to an hour and a half in a nice warm dry area and you wanna cover it with your clean towel. I'm gonna go ahead and start heating up my oil. I'm gonna put approximately three inches of oil into a deep pot and I'm going to cook it over medium to high heat. You wanna get your oil to approximately 350 degrees. I'm gonna let the oil warm up and I am going to check, I have my temperature gauge, I'm gonna make sure that the oil is hot enough before I drop them in. My oil is ready. They only are supposed to be in the oil for two to three minutes, and as soon as they start browning on one side, you need to flip them using some tongs or a slotted spoon. I'm going to use tongs, and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of them in. I put three in to start. All right. All right, so I have three fried up. I wanna go ahead and make the glaze so that we can get one set finished. 
Next, I'm gonna take three tablespoons of butter and one quarter cup maple syrup, and I'm going to put them in a microwave safe bowl to heat them together and to warm and melt the butter. But make sure your bowl is big enough that you also can then stir in one cup of powdered sugar after everything is melted. I'm just gonna warm the butter and the maple syrup mixture in the microwave at 30 second intervals until the butter melts completely. Now that my butter is melted, I'm just going to slowly whisk in the powdered sugar and let it melt as I stir it. I have my beignets in a bowl, and now I am going to put the glaze over the top. It smells so delicious. Oh my goodness. And then we're gonna taste them. Okay, my mom and I are here. We have our beignets. We're each going to try one. Let's see how they taste. Oh my goodness, Ooh. they're so delicious. They are, they're wonderful. Oh my goodness, look how great they puff up and oh, they are so good. Mm. They're just perfect. <laughs> All right everybody, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoy making these. Make sure if you do decide to make these at home that you give yourself enough time. You have to make sure you have enough prep time and of course the dough has to sit and rise in order for them to puff and become perfect. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like making these at home. They are so delicious and they are an extra special treat this time of year. If you're having someone over, you can have these with some tea or some coffee, put them out as a dessert or just even as an afternoon treat, maybe even something first thing in the morning. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know if there's anything that you'd like to learn how to make from Disneyland or Disney California Adventure. Make sure to leave it in the comments and I'll see what I can do about getting that recipe for you. Bye.